Hello YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about the question that goes like this. How do I tell my girlfriend? How do I tell my boyfriend? Dot 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 dot. Usually talking about something important something significant, something that they probably won't like. And the answer is simple and probably not something you want to hear. Uh, you just tell them. <laughs> you tell them as openly, as honestly as you can. You have to tell them. You don't have to, obviously, I mean, you don't have to anything. But I promote honesty. I think honesty in a relationship is really, really important. And if you want to tell your good friend or your partner something important, you need to tell them. You need to not wait forever and ever and ever. <laughs> not wait for weeks. Look. You're already worried about it, yes? Or you wouldn't be asking. You wouldn't be looking for tips on this kind of thing. You're worried about it. You're worried what they're gonna say. Well, first of all, that's kind of pointless, obviously, because you don't know what they're gonna say. Why worry all that time? Why waste all that time and effort into something? You don't know what's gonna happen. And yes, it might be cool to find the best way to say something. But don't fuss, don't fuss too long. You're gonna spend a lot, every day that you put it off, you're gonna spend a lot of energy on this that you could have spent on other things. And, and you're gonna spend probably a lot of time doing shadow, doing something that makes you less. Because worrying is something that makes you less. That makes you not want to go out in the world and do stuff. It makes you not feel like you're confident and amazing and beautiful. It makes you less of those things. And you want to do things that make you more of those things. So Yes, it could be scary. Whatever you have to say to your girlfriend, boyfriend, best friend, you know, somebody that you care about and that's important to you in some way. Whatever it is that you need to say, that you feel like you want to say, it is only going to get worse every day that you wait with this. There isn't a perfect time for this. I have a lot of experience with this kind of thing of putting it off and putting it off and being too scared to say something. And almost unanimously, every time I just say it, even if it's awkward and weird and something that I wasn't really planning to do, if I finally get up the courage to say it, it's such a relief. And it doesn't really matter what the response is. Yes, you know, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's, you know, to bite through the bullet for a while and, and manage whatever outcome there is of whatever you said. You know, there's going to be stuff. It's going to be probably stuff that, that they're not going to like, obviously, or you would have said it already. So there is going to be some fallout. Yes, of course. But there's going to be that, whether you say it now or you, whether you say it three months from now, and probably worse if you say it a long time from now. And all that time in between, you're going to have worried about it. You're going to have spent so much time worrying about this. Unless you're some kind of superhuman who can turn that off, I would go with, just say it. Just say it. Just say whatever's on your mind, get it out there, deal with whatever is, you know, 
the fallout of it, the repercussions of it, and move on with your life so you can be happy again. There is no easy way. There is not going to be a super perfect time, a super easy way to say it. You're just going to have to grow some balls and do it. Yes, also girls. Yes, you have a male side of you. You have a, a male side that can grow some balls and have the courage to say things. Yes, you can. <laughs> so... I can talk about this longer, I can talk about it, I can stop right now. The basic idea here is that you say it, say it, be honest. Because there is nothing worse for a relationship than, than dishonesty. And, and they're going to feel that there's something off anyway. And you're going to feel that there's something off. And again the worrying part there's going to be so much shadow coming out of this if you don't say it on your end on their end you know probably they're too scared to ask you know what's up or they ask you and you say no it's fine and you're lying you're adding you know you're making it worse that way don't do that just whatever it is Spit it out. Bring it out, in, bring it out in the open. Bring it out into the light. Bring it into the light. Figuratively and literally blurt it out there. Bring it out there into the open so you can face it. They can face it. They can have an opinion on it and you can sort things out together. And then both of you can relax and just live your life and move on. Whatever the outcome, you can finally move on again. This is important. So to all these questions that go, how do I tell my significant other, my girlfriend, my partner, how do I tell them this? How do I tell my best friend, dot, dot, dot? Just say it. Just say it for all the reasons I told you and more. Just say it. Just get it out there. I will see you guys in the next video.